Hey, I am with Dino Dogan, and uh, he has been a friend of mine over the blog and, the, and Twitter for, gosh, probably almost a year now, I want to say, and I got to meet him today for the first time. And uh, so, of course, Dino, all the buzz right now is about Triber, and I'm sure a lot of our uh, readers uh, know what it's about, but why don't you just tell us a little bit, what is Triber? What's this project that you're working on? So, uh, Triber is, from a technical perspective, uh, it's simply a way for a bunch of small and medium-sized bloggers to band together and share in each other's audience. <clears throat> and right now, that audience is strictly Twitter, uh, but we're going to be expanding to Facebook, LinkedIn, um, uh, G+, who knows, right? Stumble upon and so on and so forth. So if I have a tribe of 10 and you're a new blogger and I invite you into my tribe, you've just multiplied your reach by a factor of about a bazillion. Yeah. So that's what Triber does. Yeah. And uh, for someone like me, uh, another business benefit is it saves time. Talk Absolutely. a little bit about that. Well, uh, Triber by default runs on automatic. We call it automagication. So, auto magication. Auto -magication. Sounds, like a, sounds like you're working for Disney or something. <laughs> so we, um, uh, once you enter your RSS feed and your um, Twitter uh, account, once you connect those two, everything's automated. Every time you publish a new blog post, everyone in your tribe tweets it, and that's that. There, there is a manual mode yeah. for the control freak in you. Uh, That's but me. <laughs> you have to, you have to uh, opt into that. Right. Well, I mean, I think, I mean, I, well, you and I have talked about this. I mm. mean, I think it's important, to, you know, what you tweet is, it, it reflects your brand. So, I mean, to me, it is important to take a look at what you're uh, tweeting about. Absolutely. So, one of the interesting things about uh, Triber is that you, you've already got some opportunities to monetize. Mm -hmm. And you just signed on uh, your first really big uh, brand name. So talk a little bit about how you're making money out of this thing. So I, I'm very proud of the way we monetized Triber. First of all, it wasn't like ads or anything silly like that. Um, and we monetized it about three weeks into its existence. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way we monetize is by selling bones. And bones is a virtual currency that buys you higher tribal functions, mm -hmm. uh, like replays and manual tribe-wide tweets. Hootsuit can't do that. Tweet that can't uh, tweet out your uh, thing uh, across 10 or 15 different people, mm -hmm. right? Um, so you purchase this virtual currency we call bones, mm -hmm. um, and then you get to engage in these higher functions. And on the other uh, end, we rolled out some something called uh, tribe perks. Um, and um, uh, that's where basically businesses have a marketing strategy in a box. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to market themselves or they need to augment their existing marketing. They need to reach out to the most powerful residents online, bloggers, right? Outside of celebrities. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think so. Yeah, yeah. Outside of celebrities, bloggers are the most powerful yeah. residents on, uh, on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they can give them free products. Uh, and um, bloggers can engage in what we like to call experience marketing. So you can talk can you uh, can you talk about uh, who you signed up? What kind of what kind of client is it's, working with you? It's really uh, kind of uh, uh, amazingly cool. But the first batch of products that we sent out was from Revlon. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, is there something between you and Revlon we should know about? <laughs> no, it was just a, you know it was a connection. <laughs> it was a hail mary pass. Is what it was. Yeah. Hey, one of the other interesting things we talked about, uh, Dino, we, we spent a long time over lunch talking about just uh, blogging and business and monetization and uh, an interesting idea you had was that you, at some point you could see something like Triber being a union for blogs to mm -hmm. help bloggers uh, monetize in general. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about that. So, if we're able to pull off this community building on Blogger, if we're able to dump a tremendous amount of value for bloggers on Triber, uh, and we're able to attract a lot of bloggers, and so far so good, we've been growing by leaps and bounds, uh, we can have brands get in touch with these bloggers and you know, create paid opportunities for bloggers to write content, um, maybe some kind of ad workout, uh, maybe some kind of experience marketing type of deal. There's a, a wide range of options there. Um, and our goal is if you are a blogger and you want to make a living 
doing what you're doing, um, Triber, we want Triber to be the engine that pays you. Now, uh, do you have to be, uh, is it still you have to be invited to Triber or anybody reading today, can they just kind of go on? How do you get, how do you get involved? Uh, two ways. You can browse the list of tribes from the homepage. Um, and the common mistake people make is they look for tribes where they can sort of, you know, get something out of the tribe. That's a wrong perspective flipping. Find a tribe that you can help them with something. Find a tribe where you can be useful to them and request an invite into that tribe. Mm -hmm. um, and the other way is just, listen, if you're a blogger and you know other bloggers, chances are they're already on Triber. Um, so just ask them for an invite. Okay, great. And uh, how do people find you on Twitter and the web? Um, DIYblogger.net, that's my home. Obviously, Triber, T-R-I-B-E-R-R. -R. It would be really embarrassing if I misspelled that. Two R's. Two R's at the end, yeah. yeah. Triber.com and Dino underscore Dogan, D-O-G-A-N, uh, on Twitter. Okay, thanks so much, Dino, and good luck with your project. Thank you, Mark.